Welcome back to 7 Minute Options, Friday, September 3rd. My third video of the day. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should have just made one like 10 minute video and be done with it. But I was just thinking, well, right now I'm very close to about 40 days away between now and the October expiration. So usually when I'm about 40 days out, there's a couple of different positions that I like to put on all the time or whenever you know, IVR and, and the premium sort of justify it. And I was thinking, do I want to put it on now? Do I want to wait for the long weekend and then put it on? And uh, you know what? I just thought, let's put it on now. I mean, between now and Tuesday, it's almost four days away. So let's put it on now. And I kind of look through the, the list that I have here. One that I like to put on is EWZ. This is the Brazil ETF. And if you guys have been following my other videos, I've been putting this on with a lot of success. So most of these turn out quite well. And the trade here is a 25 short delta strangle about 40 days out. So I got the uh, 25 delta here on the short put. I got the, I mean, the closest thing, I could go 28 delta or 20 delta. I'm going to go with a 20 delta, which is just outside the expected move. And, you know, I could go up to 28 and pick up a little bit more, but that's, I'm going to go for the 20 delta anyway, um, because it, it is kind of undefined risk. I'm only giving up $450 of buying power. I get 2.7 theta in return. And yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to try to route this one. And my target for this one is a 50% profit margin when that gets filled. So if it gets filled, I'll put in the GTC order to close it right away. And the other one that I found uh, today is IWM. Again, I have this iron condor set up where I like to go to the 20 delta on the short put make it five dollars wide on the wings and same thing 20 delta on the short call and make it a five dollar wing i mean this thing is a 220 dollar product so there's no way i'm going to go undefined on this but i like to close it out make it a five dollar iron condor i'm picking up 129 dollars of credit my max loss here is 371 which is the balance of the 129 and the five dollar risk that i'm taking and um good thing is the theta here is too so i'm getting two theta for $371 buying power, which is very efficient. And, you know, it's a, it's a low IVR environment, so it's not ideal. Um, that's why it's kind of hard to find these positions because everything is kind of low IVR. You know, I'd love to find these in the 40, 50, 60% IVR range, but right now these um, ETFs are just not, not found there. The, the uh, IVR is kind of low across the board on, on these ETF products at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna take it uh, 129. I'm going to route this and my goal with this one is also 50 percent so let me just go back to the uh to the working one yeah so joby on my previous video so that did fill at 158 which i'm pretty happy about ewz it's a hanging around at 107 i'm gonna go down one more dollar here try to incentivize that to close and i'm gonna oh it filled up 106 fantastic and now the only one that i gotta fill out here is iwm it's hovering at 129 I'll go down to 128. And IWM is pretty liquid. Let's see, which ones did I pick here? I picked here, uh, yeah, three cent wide market. Yeah, 5,000 open interest. Yeah, so these ones should get filled. So this, I'm expecting this to get filled in the next few minutes here, um, especially with this being, you know, right now it's, it's at about $1.30 at the midpoints and I'm only asking for a 128. So this should get filled. So let's go to EWZ because that one filled already. And where are we here? Hello positions, EWZ, there we go. I need to put the GTC order in right now for 50%. I got a dollar six. So let's buy this back for whatever, 52. So that's gonna be GTC. We close that out. And come on, IWM. It's just not filling. Come on. Anyway, if that fails, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm, I'm going to do GTC at 50%. Just my own personal preference. I usually like to go 50% and then add a couple of bucks onto it just so that it's uh, I, I cover my transaction costs, which usually are about a dollar for each position that I open. They're free to close on Tastyworks. Um, but either way, I'm going to get this one open as well. And... Yeah, that's it. Another quick video. All right. Have a good weekend. Cheers.